So first thing we're gonna do here is remove the brake line from the caliper entirely. It's a little plastic nut that'll come off on the back there and that'll allow you to pull the full brake line out of the brake caliper because we're gonna replace both the interior metal uh, brake cable as well as the outer uh, green sheath that you see here. Um, mostly because it's a little bit corroded inside there. I uh, probably got some salt, uh, maybe a little bit of water and some rust developed, which is preventing it from pulling through smoothly. So we're just gonna replace the whole thing for this one. So yeah, you wanna loosen this top nut off to pull the cable through the caliper. And then this is the piece that you're gonna unscrew from the front side of the brake caliper right here. The line runs through the deck, so you can pull it out all the way through there. So we got that out. And then the cable runs basically right up through the stem. Down from here, up through here, so we're going to pull that all the way up. And then this is similar to kind of just adjusting the brake, but we're gonna pull the cable out of the front brake caliper. <clears throat> and you got your replacement line. Make sure you run it through this little silicone protector and you'll start by running it right through that first slot um, there's a tube that the brake line will fit right into that will guide it all the way to the bottom. Yeah, so just kind of pushing it right through and eventually you'll have it come out that bottom end right there. might help to actually remove that silicone piece just to get it all the way through. And then you can just put it right back on there. You really just want to leave enough up front here where you'll be able to have enough space to sneak it right through the, the front brake handle. And then same thing on the right side of the scooter. And then again, you're gonna put it right down. There's a little opening right below the deck that this will go through. And around for you so you can see. And then, yep, it'll pop out right there, and that's what you're gonna go back into the brake caliper with. Usually, uh, you know, when you order these from us, they'll be pre-cut. Uh, for this one, we're probably gonna trim it up a little bit after we have it on, just to make sure it fits good. Then you got your interior cable. That should slide in pretty easily now.
Yeah, I'm gonna line this too. <clears throat> Okay. Make sure I don't cut it too short. Mm -hmm. Oops, that popped out on the end here. <clears throat> Put the spring on after. Once you have that on, you can snake the cable through the front of the brake caliper and then screw that connector on. I'll make sure this part is in there. Slides right into the back of here. Yeah, you want to get that up as close as you can. Because if you leave any space, dirt will get in. Yeah, there. you really want to prevent any water or dirt from getting in here. So pull that tight. Make sure about that. Right, so once that's pulled tight, you can go through the top of the caliper. Probably gonna leave this loose uh, for now until we adjust the front handbrake so you can at least get that uh, fastener on the back caliper. And on the front, just put that on the same way it came off. So in order to get rid of all this slack, uh, what we're gonna do is just pull the cable all the way down from the bottom, pull it taut, and then this thing will come right into place up here. And so this is how you actually adjust the tension of the brake, but now that we have it up on the hand grip adjusted, we can actually move the caliper forward until it starts to hit contact with the disc, and then you can tighten up that back bolt right there. Since this is a brand new brake line with a brand new cable, you'll probably want to, you know, ride it for a little bit, test the brakes out um, while the tension sets in. You might need to readjust it after your first ride. Pretty good. So we'll do one more small adjustment here.